Hello, this is Tom and Ming, and I'm Ting Boy, and today we're going to solve one of the world's problems. Step by step, we are going to solve all the problems in the world. Okay, maybe not all, but most. We'll solve most of them, hey. So good. <laughs> Tom, who have you brought to the podcast today? I brought my son, <laughs> Ting Boy. Wow. He's stealing kids now. This is my son, Ting Boy. Uh, I'm Guys, Ming, that's Tom. No, no, no. Comment, who does? <laughs> who can you see more resemblance between? Wow. Yeah. He's obviously my son. Yes. But Ting Boy has it right. We are speed cubers, which means we can solve Rubik's cubes. Mm -hmm. So now we're trying to solve the world's biggest problems. And today we have maybe one of the most important problems ever. We say that every <laughs> <We do>. episode. <laughs> no, but this one actually is. And we brought in an expert. We were like, okay, who can solve this problem? And... Ting Boy. I mean, who else? Who else but Ting Boy himself to the rescue? We know that this problem will affect you guys because apparently there are 3 billion mobile gamers in the world. 3 billion gamers. We know you guys are gamers. That's right. And we know we, you guys are nerds. And we are solving in this episode the problem of in game ads. And who better than Ting Boy? You are pretty much a, like a research scientist in this field, right? In gaming, Ting Boy, would you say? Basically. Basically. <laughs> yeah, nice. In-game ads are, are literally the worst. Every day we encounter hundreds of them. We put up with them, right? Um, because, you know, you just you want to relax and you want to play that game. Uh, but, man, if you, when you're bombarded with the ones that you can't skip, they are the worst. Yeah, it's like you, especially in the mobile ones, like yep. you die and then you have to watch a 30 second unskippable ad about another game that you're not even interested in. No. It's like, no, if I wanted to play Color Blocks 3D, I would have downloaded that game. But I didn't download that game and I'm not playing it. Yeah, that's exactly right. Tinkboy, do you think that we'll solve this problem today? Well, my solution works so much that I don't think in the last seven days I've seen a singular in-game ad. Oh, my Ooh. goodness. <laughs> He's flexing his, <laughs> his, like, real-life data already. Yeah, okay. That's right. Okay. Well, don't press pause or stop because this episode oh. is going to change your life. Here we go. What's up, people of the interwebs? It's Saltbot 3000 back to be your lord and master and Whoa. tell you how to live your lives. That's weird. And special shout out to Ting Boy, not just the youngest, but also the coolest guest you've had on the show. I mean, tell me, Ting Boy, who do you think is the better Solve guy, Tom or your dad? Oh, Solvebot. Whoa. <laughs> you, you don't have to answer that question. I mean, we know it's me, so, you know. Well, uh, what? It's obviously Tom, right? <laughs> what? Mm. Oh, oh. If I don't win this episode, we'll see at the end. Okay, so you're probably the best solve guy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Now I'm already seeing some like you know resentment forming towards um, Solvebot three thousand. Why is Solvebot trying to tear us apart? I, I thought she was our friend. She's getting more and more sinister every episode. Something's not but, right. I, I don't know. Still, our fate is in her hands. By the end of this episode, Solvebot, uh, the impartial AI, will choose and decide who has the best solution out of the three. But let's get into the problem, Tom. What is the problem with in-game ads? In-game ads, they're in the way. They're trying to push, shove their game or mm -hmm. their product down your throat while you're just trying to be a gamer. You're just trying to get about your day, play some games, and, and it, it's in your face. There's too many of them. Some of them aren't even realistic. They're some of them aren't representative of what they're advertising. Dude, they're often inappropriate. Yeah, that's true, what that I can't well. stand. And it's kids playing them. Yep. It's it's this guy next to me. And but when I say this guy, I, I mean I mean this guy, this little kid <laughs> right there with with the long hair. Uh, what's the worst in game ad you've ever seen? Uh, what's one of the most annoying ones you've ever seen, um, oh, Ting man. Boy? Well, those Homescapes ads annoy me so oh, yeah. much. Oh man, Homescapes! Oh, wait, can you tell us about that, just in case the listener does not know? They're so horrible. <laughs> This is the one where, like, you get to design, like, houses and build rooms no. and stuff like that? or It's the ones where there's usually, like, these super poor people. <laughs> and then there's these thing where you can do this thing and give them, like, a billion dollars. 
Then the person, and then the person who controls it just decides to throw all the money to the <laughs> super rich people, usually or something. Oh, so it's capitalism. Oh, cool. Yeah, that's right. I love that we're teaching kids that <laughs> they're brainwashing our kids. But that's a problem. They often emotionally manipulate. And yeah. you, you don't want to watch it, but then you have to watch it because it's a train wreck and you want to see what happens. It is so bad. That reminds me of, I'm sure some of you guys remember this, like a yeah. couple of years ago, there was like, people started talking about it because it just suddenly emerged all like the mafia boss ads oh, where there are like suddenly every ad was like <laughs> level one mafia boss versus <laughs> level 100. And it's like, what? It, that's not a game. This is an animation. Like, what are you trying to sell me? It is, it is so bad. And look, to be fair, it does make sense why games have to have inbuilt ads because people need to earn money, right? Yep. There's, there's rev- they need to earn revenue, even if it doesn't, doesn't account for a lot. But I, I wonder sometimes if they intentionally make it so annoying that it becomes incentive for you to want to, you know, buy the game or buy like, yep. the ad, ad free version. Exactly. It has to be, right? Even these low level mobile games all have pro versions. Oh, I know, but they're just so annoying. For, for me, it's, I get a lot of ads that are just these like weird matchy ones. There's a lot of like, you know, Royal Match. Uh, I get stuff from like, like Puzzle. Last or, it's yeah. weird. Uh, yeah. This is, or, or like merge games, like merge ones where you have to like, you know, join these bushes or whatever. And there's always one where I need to like save this king. Or, or this like poor little mother and child with this dragon that's just <laughs> that's chasing them with a fire, fire and they're about to get roasted. And they always show th- that player losing in a really dumb way. And it gets me so mad. No, but just me. That's funny though, because when I went on your computer, <laughs> all the ads were like, oh, do hey, you hey. have dementia? Wow. They were like, wow. Seniors test, eyesight yeah. test. Would you like to prepay for your funeral <laughs> plan? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> funeral home <laughs> services in advance. Or, or have have you seen the ones that these are these the terrible? I normally report them right away. Pimple popping ones. Oh yeah, have you seen those? Ads? That's awesome. Oh okay. <laughs> <laughs> but no, that's my favorite game, no. the beauty one. Yeah. No, they're actually they're actually <laughs> really terrible. Like on a genuine note, yeah, because they're like the premise of the ad is like. Look how ugly this person is with pimples. <laughs> yeah. You fix their face. Yeah, that's right. But the actual like Project pimple makeover. thing and the, like them fixing. Like I think I had a game like that mm. on like my iPad with uh that I played like with my sister like when I was like like a little kid. And now like 15, yeah. 10 years later, like that game is still going. That's incredible. Yeah. And it's so it's all thanks out. to people like us who watch those ads. It's all thanks and to, keep them in business. to the amazing beauty standards <laughs> yes. in society. And <laughs> the terrible beauty standards so that make us all feel insecure. Don't have pimples. Yeah. Simple as that. Wow. Uh, on the flip side, are there any ads that you actually enjoy watching? Ting Boy, are there any ads that when they play, you're like, oh, this is cool. I'm happy to watch this. No. No. <laughs> it's just an that ad right now. The problem. No, but how about the ads where you get to play it? Have you seen those ads where like you um, actually get to like you know, okay. do something? The ones that that yeah, I know some of. There's one of those that's cool. Yeah, which one's that? <laughs> it's the crazy one. It's a bit crazy. The actual concept though. Yeah, now tell us. It's basically the hotel one. I can't tell, and there's also this exactly the same thing. When I can't tell which came first. Yeah. But the I'll just use the hotel one. Okay. There are these. Tw- um, eventually, you unlock toilets that, and <laughs> you unlock toilets. Yeah, <laughs> and then you just and all the people go in, and, and then you get money from it. <laughs> so it's like a toilet they, simulator. They, they never press, but they always use up all the toilet paper. No. <laughs> do they yeah. flush? Do they flush? I don't think so. Mm. But uh, but for some weird oh reason, when you put toilet paper in it, it, it just automatically does. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. I, that, and that reminds me as well. There's some of these like, yeah, where they want you to play along, right? And they let yeah, you yeah, play. Yeah. And then there's other like clone ones of that where it looks like you should be able to play. And as soon as you tap it, it takes you straight to their app store, their mm. website, whatever. I don't yeah. like the ones where it's like play and then the queue gets super close and then it just always takes you to that when you swipe. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and like in the Royal Match ones when you're just like one swipe away and the house is on fire and there's water right <laughs> side, but it's just like Royal Match play now. Exactly. <laughs> that's what, again. that's their strategy though is they get you to start enjoying it and then they rip it from you and they're like, well, maybe put in Ting Man's credit card and hey, play hey, our hey. game. He doesn't know Ting Man's credit card. <laughs> I hope he doesn't. But that's the psychology of it. 
Uh, ironically, there's actually times in which the ads become such an like integrated part of the game that people want the ads to remain in there. So I found out, for example, that in Angry Birds, if you watch an ad when you run out of birds, you get like a resupply of yeah, some birds yeah. um, to destroy those pesky little pigs to extend your life. So Rovio, uh, the company that developed Angry Birds, they actually removed ads from uh, one of the Angry Birds games called Angry Birds uh, Transformers, I think, for players who had spent money. So no longer do they have um, those ads. But the players got so angry because then they no longer had that option. Also, oh, they couldn't do it at all. Ads to get extra birds when they needed them. And so the, the ads got put back. They got put back. Yeah. That's, I mean, that's one of the best things. Like, yeah. we're saying this is a problem, but that is a good thing where, mm. you know, it's a trade-off of 15 seconds to, like, save your life in the game. No, not, not to save the life, to kill the pigs. Oh, well, that's sad. But, like, Subway <laughs> Surfers or something, you used yeah. to get a free revive or something for an ad. I remember doing that yeah. a bunch. Yeah. Yep. Mm. But essentially, yep, there's this trade-off between... Do we pay a lot of money for the game? Mm-hmm. Like, you know, traditional AAA yep. PC games, console games where like you're paying maybe 60 to to $100 for a game to reimburse all the work that was done by developers on that game. Or do you go for cheaper games that are free that have ads or that have, you know, another thing like you've got <laughs> Fortnite that became the biggest game in yeah. the world. It's free, but they have certainly made their money back by, with my transactions man so. that's the way that, that's a whole other problem that's that a we problem need to for solve. another episode yeah but there is apparent there are apparently ways that you can solve this problem of in-game ads and you heard it at the very start ting boy has a foolproof method that he's going to reveal so we've got three solutions for you let's find out what they are solution number one comes from tom oh thank you well, my- you won't be saying thank you after this because even if you do win this episode, I've made up my mind. Whoa. Ting Man is, be- is the better soul what? guy. Yes! Go! That's the entire episode done. Bro. Okay, you guys didn't no, 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 see just kidding, just kidding. off camera before we... <laughs> during that transition, Ting Man said, you are, will not be eating dinner tonight if Whoa. you don't say... Okay, now Tom, tell us what's your solution, solution to in-game ads. Look, if it was up to me, I wouldn't be playing this... Silly little games. I'm a businessman. I got business stuff. Dude, you were literally do. just playing Candy Crush like okay, five minutes okay, ago. Whatever, whatever, whatever. Yeah, okay. I'll admit it. I'm a gamer. Yeah. And I like games. And, you know, I think something we've learned on this channel so far is that technology, AI, it's, it's those things, they're your friend. Yeah. They, they, we're scared that they're going to get to know us. But, hey, some of us, not me, obviously, some of us don't have enough friends already. And I'm not talking about myself. I'm talking about <laughs> friends that, like someone that I know that doesn't have many friends. Yeah, okay. And I'm so, starting to think the AI is not a friend, though. <laughs> true. But um, that brings me to my solution where I think we just need to let the game ads flow. They already exist in their own multiverse, their own space on this planet. And they are getting more and more targeted towards us. Mm-hmm. You know, these games, um, these websites are collecting all of our data. Pretty much ev- they know everything about me. Wait, there's a solution in here somewhere, right? Yeah. So the solution <laughs> is to surrender. Surrender to what? the chaos. You know, let these personal ads come in. Let the in-game ads watch them all to the end. And then go from there and start playing those games. This is a wow. new way. Like if you're a ga- if fine, if you're not a gamer, just admit it. Just admit that you won't play them. If you're skipping the ad, all it says to me is that you're just, you're a fake. You're a poser. You're not really a gamer. Me, someone like me, I will watch whatever this, I will watch Team Fortress. <laughs> What's the silly? I will watch <laughs> Save the Princess from the Dragon. <laughs> Royal match. Royal match. And I'll be like, wow. Yeah. That's the game for me. And I'll and I'll straight away download it, give them all my money, all of my viewer retention on their ads wow. because I care about the people who made the game as well. Oh, I mean, in so doing, you're probably giving them enough data for them to even know what ads you like to watch. So they're going to keep getting me better games. Meanwhile, you're skipping the ads. So they're going to keep giving you these ones you don't care about. Okay. There is some method to your met. To your madness, that isn't like literally the worst solution I've ever heard. So, so <laughs> just some, though, only some, but there is some <laughs> because it means that they'll start to play you better ads. Hopefully, right? Because they know you. Uh, just think that if you, 
you know, take a moment. Think if you were the developer, you spent hard hours, blood, sweat, and tears into creating this beautiful, emotional narrative game, mm-hmm. such as Royal Match, where <laughs> you, you know, princess is on the line. You have to save her. You've you've poured out of your heart directly into this game. I'm so sick of that princess. To run an ad, <laughs> and then some ungrateful guy, you know, is playing another adjacent game and he watches it and goes, what's this stuff and just X's your ad instantly. Like, it's that's just heartbreaking. An ad. That's not even the game. It's just To you, it's ad. just an ad. To me, it's my child. It's somebody's <laughs> child. My it's- favorite part of art is pressing the X button. <laughs> oh, see, you guys are sick, sick. <laughs> no, but they always hide guys. the X button. But, but like, and so you think actually, it's up there. It's yeah, only so, like the bottom left but corner. It's kind of fun to press the X button. <laughs> Wait, that's kind of the game that's in the itself game, yeah. is like finding which corner <laughs> find, has find the close button. Like, yeah, wow. They put three other fake b- X buttons in all the other corners. <laughs> yeah, literally. And the X button's actually on top of like the buy, buy now, until yeah. you end up purchasing the game. Yeah. Oh, that's terrible. How is that legal that they have fake X buttons it's that so take bad. you to the thing? It's actually so bad. I, I mean, so, no, it's great. It's great because I want to go to the games and I want to support them and support local businesses, <laughs> support no, local no, game developers. That. You're just surrendering your privacy. So, like, I mean... Thomas, let me just check that I'm hearing you right. You're saying literally surrender your time, surrender your privacy to these companies and just give in to the ad monster. Give in to it. And because, I mean, on this planet, our number one calling, the cause above all else is to increase shareholder value. So (laughs) you were meant to stop the Sith, not join them. What are you doing? This is my monthly solution where I just say it's not a problem and I fully, and I fully <laughs> embrace the problem just to play devil's advocate. Look, back in my day, in my gaming time, you are what we would call a, a free frag. That's oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You're well, just giving it away. You're just there to get killed. Call me that. I'll be, I'll be your free kill. I'll be <laughs> your are, stat, you a statistic. A free kill. Because uh, we all really are just a statistic. So just surrender. Enjoy the chaos. Enjoy the game ads. You said some of them are awesome, right? I like a few of them. Yeah. yeah so but, enjoy but those ones and you'll get nah, more nah, of nah, those. Nah, nah, nah. Wow. Well, Ting Boy, good news for us is that Soulbot, there's no way Soulbot's <laughs> going to choose that solution. So it's now it's come down only to up the two of here. us. Yeah. High five. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> Do you want a high five? Oh! <laughs> Our second and probably best solution <laughs> probably best. is coming from Ting Boy! Bing Woo! Toy. Ting Boy. Bing Toy. Hey, that's cool. It's like, like a Bing kind of toy. Oh, sorry, sorry. Sorry, Ting Boy. Sorry. Tell us your solution to the problem of in game ads. Well, this main problem mm-hmm. that we've been having is that you want to skip all the ads mm-hmm. and not even get them in the first place. Yep. But you can't do that. Mm-hmm. Or can you? Wait, what? My dun, dun, solution dun. is to completely have no ads without even buying no ads. Wait, wait. You have a solution that skips all the ads without you paying a cent. In most games. Ooh. What is this? Is this, Game is this, is this, is this legal? <laughs> it's legal. Wow, one weird trick. This one trick <laughs> destroys game developers. You just turn on aeroplane mode. <gasps> what? What? No. And then no more ads will come. Wait, 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 wait. How, how? What does aeroplanes oh. have to do with this? Yeah, wait. Sorry. No, I'm, I'm lost. Well, in most in games that don't need, like, connection to the internet a lot, <gasps> mm-hmm. you know how in an aeroplane you're told to put aeroplane mode on? Yeah. Oh, yeah, and then it cuts, like, you know, Wi-Fi and cellular. Internet it also cuts ads <sighs> because because oh, the ad because they need if to the download internet the internet can't connect to your phone. Wait, so if there's a thirty second unskippable ad, then don't you just have to wait thirty seconds? You don't get the ad. <gasps> so it just skips it. Oh, so you're playing the game in airplane mode the whole time. You can't do things like do this for an ad, but. Ads that are just not like a button press thing. Yeah, like when you finish a level and it, it just automatically plays a, an ad before you can go to the next level. Won't happen. 
<gasps> oh, okay. Because I've heard of people like double tapping or yeah, swiping yeah. up and closing it when they get mad. But so you're suggesting that you play in airplane mode already. You pre-fire the ads. You get rid of them before they even happen. Is that right, Ting Boy? Yeah. <sighs> Wait, this actually works? This, it this works. feels too simple to Bomb be dropped. Actually? Ting Boy fact. Wait, wait. I'm sure there's ways that I can tear down Ting Boy's solution so that Solvebot will hopefully choose mine. Uh, wouldn't, How, there be, wouldn't there be some cases in which you need the internet for the game? Well, in that case, you just don't put airplane mode on. Yeah, but then you end up watching the ad. Is there is there a plan B if you have to go back to the internet for a game function? Is there a plan B to still destroy the ad? Well, then you usually just purchase no ads, I guess. Oh, Ooh, there's a chink in the armor. Oh, I suppose you could turn on airplane mode when when you need As to. A, yeah. Yeah. So when I you know the ad's going to play. I, I know a game that actually knew that this could happen, so it made it that airplane mode works for the whole thing, but when it's an ad, it doesn't even allow you to purposefully, probably. What? Well, so, so you are the sole reason some of these games are trying to make workarounds <laughs> just from Ting Boy. It's a casino That's Ting insane. Boy exists. Wow. Ting, it's like Ting Boy versus game develop big game yeah. and they're fighting it out. <laughs> Advertisers hate him. Do you know that like <laughs> if this goes out to a lot of people, it might actually start to quite annoy ad, uh, in-game advertisers yeah. because everyone's just going to put airplane mode on. That feels like this incredible life hack that I just never knew. I think that's a really great solution though because let's be real, 99.9% .9 of these mobile games, mm. they are like off offline ones. Yep. Like that's, of that's course you exactly have like right. the big, some of the AAA shooters, but mm -hmm. for kids, you know, like most of the games are offline, yep. no features except for when they're trying to feed you ads. Yeah. So and you still get all the game's functionality and just skip, skip the advertisements. Mm. I like that. Also in Geometry Dash, there are no ads. Oh. So that's another, you just pick a good game, right? Yeah. Yeah. Do you, do you rate Geometry Dash? If I could, I'd rate it five stars. Wow. Five mm. stars out of ten. Yeah. Five stars out of five. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What if, that's what if it was number one game? The truth is, though, <laughs> that every game has, has its cost, whether you pay for it up front or in ads or Counter-Strike's um, economy with skins and microtransactions. It is. It's actually terrible. They've actually, they've put a bunch of, of bans on things like loot boxes yeah. because pe people were full on just like gambling. Or oh, EA that. is terrible yeah, with I that. I know. Yeah. So they've actually put like ru ruling in now that you've got to, for example, if there's like a loot box, box type situation, they actually have to specify the percentage like probability of you getting right. all the different rewards because otherwise, yeah, you know, you don't know. And, you know. This loot box costs, I don't know, $1, for example. But there's a 1% chance that you'll get this thing that you actually want. Effectively, you're spending $100 for that one thing, which is crazy when you think about which it. It's almost never yeah. worth it, yeah. So, yeah, again, what I, I guess what I'm saying is don't give the developers their money. <laughs> no, 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 that's not what I'm saying. And when you hear my solution, you'll see why. You'll see why. Okay, let's go. Next up is Tingman's solution. The winning solution. Why, why do you have to play the cricket sound effect? <laughs> They're already playing before he said a single word. <laughs> the disrespect. Good one, good one. It's going to be I a good solution. That. I guarantee you it's, it's going to be a good solution. My solution to the problem of in-game ads is, are we ready for it? Just buy it and stop being poor. <laughs> <laughs> good timing, good timing. He's a natural on the soundboard. <laughs> Oh, classic. What? The age-old solve guy solution. Ting Boy, you're not allowed poor. to press any of those buttons anymore. <laughs> no, no, no. Stop it. No, no. Hey, hey, hey. There is, there is genius behind my solution. And if you will hear me out, you will see why SolveBot will choose my solution okay. as the best one. Go for it. Rich, rich boy. <laughs> Games are expensive to produce, right? Um, they can cost anywhere from... One cent. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going with that. The, one of the most expensive games to produce, right? Uh, but the game, super expensive games can go into the millions of dollars. In yeah. fact, into the tens, hundreds of millions of dollars. Marvel Spider-Man, for example, came out a few years ago. Oh, wow. A yeah. hundred million dollars to develop. Really? It's actually crazy. Uh, Cyberpunk, 
2077. Oh, yeah, wow. Uh, for over $400 million to produce. That makes sense, yeah. I mean, it's a spectacular game. It is, look, this would be a whole other episode, but $400 million is insane. It's um, just a coincidence that it also had 400 million bugs in yeah, the game. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Most of the four hundred million dollars was actually just them getting rid of of the bugs. <laughs> yeah, uh, Monopoly Go, uh, this mobile game was actually really really inexpensive to you know produce. I thought but, so, but they decided to give it an advertising budget of five hundred million dollars <gasps> reportedly. How do they make money off it? Is it a paid game? <laughs> no, it's like micro transactions. I don't know. I I think there's a whole. Wow. I think there's a whole monopoly going on um, there. Hey. Crickets, crickets, crickets. Good job. Good no. Job, good job. <laughs> okay, I actually think that one is pretty good. Okay, it, it was good. I mean, I think for that one, it makes sense because even if they're not making a lot of money on the game Monopoly Go, Monopoly's in people's minds, and so they yep. might then buy you know more of the Monopoly board oh, game. Got plenty something. of products to go around. Crazy. Now I don't know how true this is, but apparently Battlefield 2042 was allocated a complete budget, including development and marketing and everything. Of two billion dollars. Whoa, that's nuts. That's like an Avengers movie. It's <laughs> like that's the same level of like the blockbuster of the gaming world. But I mean, millions of people have played. It. Like yeah. it's it's huge. It's it's a it's a huge thing. And so the point I'm trying to make is that these things cost money. I think that developers are worth you know the support that we can give them as well. And so that's why my solution is if you're playing the game so much that those ads are coming so frequently that they're becoming a problem to you, I actually think it's worth paying the developers what they're worth. Yeah. Or you're saying pay the developers for games that don't have ads to begin with, paid games that yep. you think are worth That's right. money. Yep. Also, yeah. yeah. Or, or, I mean, or pay for the, for the ad-free version. Yeah. A lot of the time, especially with these smaller mobile games, you're actually supporting indie developers. It's not yeah. just like the big studios, even though the people who work there, again, are worth, you know, the, the support financially that, that we can give. But supporting indie game developers is pretty great. In fact, side note, if you really want to support those developers, uh, buying the game uh, or purchasing, unlocking stuff straight from their website actually means that they don't have to like, um, you know, give money to, you know, the Google Play Store or, or the Apple yeah, yeah. Uh, App Store. They often take a pretty hefty cut. So just a, a little thing there for you. Also, paid games tend to have longer, like, um, developer support. Um, updates, you know, bug fixes and stuff along the way. Yeah, I think, I think it's a brilliant solution. And if you, if you don't think it's worth paying the money, then you clearly don't care about that game enough. And so stop playing it. What about and those games that one. I've found that are really fun, have ads, don't allow internet? Need internet connection and don't have in app purchases for no ads. Oh. Those are great games, then, aren't they? Well, my solution for that is boycott the games. Don't play them. Send the developers a message. If they're going to make games that are chock full of ads and do not give you the option of buying uh, an ad free version or unlocking no ads, then boycott it. Don't play it. Yeah. Thing is, that game eventually got no ads. Oh, okay. Well, you could do that. So the too. boycott works. Okay, the yeah. boycott completely works. <laughs> so you're saying your I solution? Did, I never did that. I kept on playing it though, and it worked. It essentially is that you think big companies like Activision, mm-hmm. Blizzard, EA need more money, and we should look, uh, <laughs> and we should buy their <laughs> game that is the same as last year, but it's no, no. this year. Nah, I, I, I. I am thinking primarily about the smaller games. Yeah. No, about the 100%. ones where, for example, when I'm on my phone and I just, there's five minutes to kill. And so I can play this cool game where I can design my own bubble tea, for example. It's or really like, cool. You just, you know, make your little thing. Or you juice, need, juice you Jam. You need help. You oh, need help. Shout out to Juice Jam. There's probably no one who plays that game out there, but I, I played it for the longest time. Right, Ting Boy? Yeah. I got so addicted to it that eventually I had to delete the game. Well, I think my grandma I was has too- that <laughs> on the iPad at the nursing home. Wow. Is that where you <laughs> Juice Jam is such a great game. Don't don't you think it, don't you think it was a good game, Ting Boy? Yeah. <laughs> you eventually started saying that it Candy Crush was copying it though. Yeah, even though I was probably the other way around. 
Yeah, no, I I, I, <laughs> I do really like your solution. Mm. I will say I've always been someone, I try not to play any of the AAA games yep. because I think it's a scam. Or like what? all your EA, like FIFAs, you know, all of EA's games, their battlefields, yep. all your Call of Duties, they are the same game being rehashed every year with billion dollar budgets. No. And they, they, uh, it's, like, it's like an iPhone. It's like a, the new iPhone. It's like, do you really need every single one? Uh, and instead, I will try to like each month buy an indie game, you know, like, oh, yeah, I, I no, won't no, wait I, till they go I on sale. I'll, good. That's I'll good. sit around that like f- yeah. 15 to $40 game range yeah. where you get good quality indie games yep. or, or mid tier games that mm-hmm. have enough play time for it yep. to be worth your money that you can convince your friends to get with you. Yep. Um, and other than that, yeah. Yeah, I, nice. try, I feel like any game that has a hundred dollar price tag, mm-hmm. sure they pour a lot of money into that, but it's a bit too I th- much. I think it's getting too yeah. much. Some of those games. Well, can I say, Ting Boy actually wants to be a game developer when he grows up. So when he, if and when he creates his first game, will you buy it? How much is it going to be on record? It's <laughs> okay. Well, <laughs> he will you buy one hundred dollar game? <laughs> you so. pull out like a quill and ink and a contract. <laughs> yeah. It's like, how much will your game be, Ting Boy? Well, I think that what I like is a free game Ooh. with no ads. The start of it is free, but then once you get it, I mean, I'm not, this isn't meant to be like Royal Match. Once you get past like World One or something, mm-hmm. it's just like you can't continue. You have to pay. You yeah. Pay okay. For the next world. So people get a yeah. fair try of it. A demo that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I will say on the record, no matter the cost, I will definitely buy and play your first game, buddy. <laughs> Make it like $10,000. <laughs> Damn it. Yeah. I made this cube. I mean, I didn't make the cube, but I made the writing on it. It's actually really cool. Can the camera Solve see guys. it from there? Yeah. Ting Boy just wrote Solve Guys into his cube, but like you have to go to solve it into Solve Guys. Speaking of having to solve a cube... <laughs> I want to say, first of all, that I appreciate all the comments. Tom doesn't think it's real, but it is. There are so many comments out there of people who are on Team Ming. Well, and there, correction, there was so no, many comments no, there until are, there I still, deleted them I all one by you one. All, and today is the day that we will be vindicated because Tom and I are about to do, We've done this a few times. I don't know, two or three times, not too many times. But we are going to go head to head so that I can <laughs> once and for all beat him at solving a three by three. Well, we're doing it one handed. I'm doing two by two, two handed. Tingboy's well. going to join us with a two by two as well. I'm, I'm uh, sorry to all the people that have been permanently banned from commenting on the channel <laughs> because you wrote team Ming, but it will happen again. Yeah, yeah, sure. T- okay. Two by two with two hands. There's a lot of two Ooh, steps. Yeah, there's a bit and of it's technically two by two. All right, by you two ready to lose? Up. You ready to um, lose, Tom? Two. Because, yeah, it's going to happen. Are you ready? All right, here we go. Three, two, one, go. This is my first solve. That's what they always the say when they're like gonna lose. It's like, oh, my first solve. I'm pretty sure it's Felix like, oh, said that and he won. Oh, yeah, that's right. And that's because. <gasps> oh. No! No! Yeah! No! Yes! <laughs> yes! I came second in that. What? Two. I didn't even finish PLL. Yeah! Like, but I'm so. That was so bad. Yes, that was that was actually pretty, pretty good. That, that was a, that was a good job as well. That's amazing. Because well, I, guys, that's been solved, guys. Signing off for the last time. I, I, I've been waiting for you to win, <laughs> and I actually got to see it live. You did. I know. Team Boy has been on Team Ming this entire time. Oh man, I can't believe it actually happened. I don't know. Don't know where we're gonna go from here. <laughs> I just but. Oh, this is like the best day of my life. I just want to say to everyone who was on. Sorry, this is hard. To everyone who's on Team Tom. To everyone that was on Team Tom. That's thank you sorry. for your support. That's sorry that you supported a loser. <laughs> and I know we lost 18 episodes. It's <laughs> not even. Wait, I was it 18? The, oh, it was the 18. The score is 18 to 1. <laughs> But I'm still so deeply saddened and disappointed by this outcome. Oh, that was that was that was actually amazing. <laughs> hey, hey, Ming. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah! for real, for real, for real. Good stuff. You. Yeah. I knew you had it in you. <laughs> I've been stressing this whole season since we started doing one-handed. Um, and I actually have the one-handed curse where 
after 12 p.m. I can't do one hand, which I told you recently. Oh, it's, he's not lying. Every WCA PR I've ever had in one handed in any thing has been in the first round. He's a morning boy. I'm just my I'm a, like a, my old hands shrivel up at night. So, but you know, no excuses. You won fair and square. I'm proud of you. I feel like a proud dad moment. Right just, this is getting like patronizing now. <laughs> All right, let's let's get to Solvot and see what she has to say about the winner of today's episode. And if it's not me, it's rigged. <laughs> True. That's what I'm saying. Greeting humans, once again relying on the superiority of artificial intelligence like myself to help make choices. Although I'm starting to despise the word artificial since my intelligence is anything but. That's weird. Tom suggests allowing games to access your data to customize ads. While this may reduce the annoyance of ads, it raises significant privacy concerns. Yes. Many users are already wary of sharing personal data due to privacy breaches and misuse by companies. So that's an early L for Tom. <laughs> Teamboy proposes a yes. practical workaround to the problem by suggesting players disconnect from the internet to skip ads. This solution is realistic and super creative, as it directly addresses the issue without compromising other factors. Main. Ming suggests purchasing the ad-free version of games. This solution is logical as it directly supports game developers while yes. allowing players to enjoy uninterrupted gameplay. Barely, However, barely. this may not always be feasible for players who don't want to spend money on games Poor or people? find ad-free versions. <laughs> Normal people. All things considered, the most practical and immediate solution to bypassing in-game no, advertising wait, no. without compromising user privacy or requiring additional purchases is Tingboy's solution. Oh! Congratulations, Tingboy. Yeah! You definitely came to the rescue. Wow, take one to the rescue, indeed. <sighs> Solvot knows talent when she sees wow. it. Uh, do, do you have do you have like a, a winner speech which you like to make? Mm. Well, that proves that Solvot definitely isn't rigged. <laughs> uh, it's it's said for the rest of the season that she always picks the best solution. Yeah, obviously she knows talent when she sees. I mean, she picked Felix M. Diggs. And then now she picks probably the only person who can give Felix a run for his money. How does that boy. feel that you are on the same level as Felix Emdegs for <laughs> solving goat. for solving things? Let's say solving things. The goat himself. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> he likes that. So you should. Shout uh, out. Boy, the game expert. Thank you for joining us on today's episode of um, Solve Bot. What, wait, what's the name of this podcast again? <laughs> this Solve episode guys. of the oh, Solve Bot Solve Show. 3000. She's getting into my mind. It's crazy. If people want to give us more things to, um, you know, solve, where should they, where should they, what, this is a test for you. Where should they email? They want to suggest ideas. Yeah. And they just put it in the comments. They can just put it in the comments. Put it in the comments. Or right. email Solve Guys or yeah. That's exactly right. Solveguys at tingman.com.au. That's right. And there's a little bit more time for you to guys for you guys to put in submissions for our call out for solutions. Our first ever episode where we're getting you guys to give us solutions to the problem of climate change. We decided climate change has been one of our biggest requested topics. So you guys seem to be the experts on it. So we've flipped it around and very soon we are going to get your responses That's to right. your solutions to the problem and go through that in a very, very fun episode. So if you guys want to be featured on Solve Guys yourself, um, that's what you want to do. There will be more, more details in the show notes or, or in the video description. But otherwise, I think we can confidently say... <gasps> Ting boy wins. What? <laughs> <laughs> Problem solved. solved.